This is a video using the GFC 500 on a visual approach uh, into Friday Harbor with a GTN 750XI and a G3X system. Seems like a pretty useful tool and I was surprised at how well it worked. I'll use the iPad GTN simulator to set it up. Basically, you see I'm descending into Friday Harbor and I'm setting it up for the visual 3.4, and I'm going to load the approach. And when I load the approach, it gives me uh, the usual page, and um, touching on the three nautical mile visual, uh, we could activate the leg. And so I thought, well, I usually go direct to, but I'll activate the leg, see what that looks like. So when you do that, it actually draws a line out from the runway far out and the top of the descent is seen on there. It's not where I want to go though. I would rather go direct to the three nautical mile uh, visual approach. So just touch that and I go direct to, it takes me direct to that. You can see the top of descent there. For the 6,000 feet uh, altitude that I'm at down to approximately sea level in Friday Harbor, so now we're back in the plane and we've already passed the top of descent. So we're on the uh, VNAV glide path. VNAV is activated on the uh, GFC 500 autopilot, as is the approach button. You just can't see the light because of the brow shield. And uh, we're heading down past 6000 for the visual descent point. Um, uh, and basically, this is it. You just have to manage the power. You'll see VNAV uh, at, above the uh, G3X there activated, and then the glide path and the altitude, um, uh, VNAV altitude are armed. And uh, also the uh, VNAV altitude that we're going down to, I set as 1100 uh, something feet, which is the altitude at the three nautical mile visual descent point. So the VNAV descent rate in the plane that I have is set at about 770 feet as a default. Um, and I like to change it. So you just go into the flight plan and you hit the menu and then you hit the VNAV and you can change it. So I think I changed it here to about 532 feet. Um, and uh, so um, that's a that's a modification you can make before you hit the top of descent. We're about uh, 15 seconds from the visual descent point where we turn inbound for the runway. And you can see the altitude select is flashing on the G3X screen. And uh, the glide path is coming in. And now the glide path is flashing. And the glide path is going to capture here. And it's turning inbound. And you're on the glide path for the visual for uh, three, four. Just don't forget to turn off the autopilot before you land and you're golden. Hope you enjoyed the video.